Rosenburg of the Tober is a town in Bavaria, Germany, and is best known for its medieval town center, seemingly untouched by the passage of time. When I visited this small town, I was fascinated by its medieval history, picturesque buildings, and Christmas shopping. In this video, I'm gonna share my experience in one of Germany's beloved fairy tale towns. Let's get started! Rothenburg is situated along Germany's romantic road, which is a 410 km tourist drive passing through a number of quaint villages. In particular, Rothenburg is one of the best preserved and most beautiful towns in Germany, and possibly all of Europe. Driving is the most popular and convenient way to reach Rothenburg, but for those without a car like me, there are trains to get to the city as well. When you walk just 5 minutes from the train station, you can see a 14th century town wall encircling the city. I'm in Rothenburg now. I can already see that it's a very beautiful city. Once you've entered the water city, you will be surrounded by pastel gabled cottages, flowers spilling from window boxes, and the wrought iron hanging signs. It truly feels like you've traveled back to the medieval era. One of the most iconic spots in Rothenburg is Plum Line. It's a really famous and photogenic building, so even if you've never been here, you might have unknowingly seen a picture of this place. In fact, I had seen a lot of photographs of it before and really wanted to go experience it in person. The distinctive yellow half-timbered house is framed by the Koblenz Gate and the higher Sibirz Tower, which secures the entrance to Rothenburg. If you want to take a picture like one of those postcards, you'll have to wait for a while because so many tourists crowd around taking pictures in front of the building. Here is the center of Rothenburg's old town, Marked Platz. It's a large, cobbled square lined with beautifully preserved buildings. At the heart sits a Rothenburg town hall that dates back to 1250 and features two architectural styles, Gothic and Renaissance. You can climb up the 52 meter high town hall tower to take a look at the whole town from the top. Okay, there are more stairs. <coughs> Well, these are quite narrow stairs. To reach the top, you need to climb the 220 narrow steps, some of which two people can't even pass by each other on. But it's all worth it because it offers the most spectacular view over the red rooftops of Rothenburg. In the Middle Ages, Rothenburg of the Tober was a free imperial city, reaching its apex of prosperity under Mayor Heinrich Toppler in the 15th century, with a sizable population of 6,000, much larger than Frankfurt or Munich at that time. Reduced to poverty during the Thirty Years' War, Rothenburg was no longer a significant city and growth stalled, thus preserving its 17th century state. Today, Rothenburg is known worldwide as being Germany's best preserved world medieval town. It seems like there are a lot of Chinese tourists before the pandemic, but right now, you know, they can't come here, so it's pretty quiet. If you want to try some local food, Shunibo is what you're looking for. Shunibo is Rothenburg's pastry specialty, which translates to snowflake. It's a sugar-covered deep-fried pastry concoction, often dipped in frosting, chocolate, or Nutella. You'll see Shunibos in pretty much all of the bakeries in Rothenburg. I got a milk chocolate flavored one. I'm looking for a place to sit down. This is quite big.
If I tell you my honest impression, it was not as good as expected. It's flaky, dry, and somewhat flavorless. Also, it makes you very thirsty, so you will need a drink while you eat it. I guess this pastry is more for the experience, if anything. There is one more thing that Rothenburg is very famous for it's Christmas Museum. Rothenburg's largest ornament shop, the Katie Wolfhard shop, is a mandatory stop for holiday lovers. It's seemingly overflowing with Christmas trees, ornaments, and decorations. Upstairs, there is a tiny Christmas museum you can visit for 4 euros. The museum traces back the history of German Christmas celebrations and includes displays of all kinds of Christmas paraphernalia, including Christmas cards, trees, Santas, and much more. Rothenburg is a compact town, so you can explore all the best things to do and see in one day. If you have a couple or more days to spare in this region, you might want to go to another town called Würzburg like I did. Würzburg is a one hour train ride away from Rothenburg and a city where the romantic road begins. It's also not a big city, so I quickly explored it with my new Ukrainian friend. The city itself is set in a beautiful hilly location in the river, and possesses a wealth of history, as well as playing host to the Residence Palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to film inside, but the huge paintings on the ceiling were amazing. The city also has the Marienberg Fortress, a 180 meter long old main bridge, beautiful churches, and a lively main square. It's a perfect town for a short trip on an extra day. How's yours? <laughs> so sorry. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more travel videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.